now i will discuss you with another error system that is error blade directive i am going to make it commented on now i am going to refresh it okay now i will show you another error system that is single error for example you see that in the top in the previous the all the errors uh, were showing here in one place but i want that after each input field its error will be shown here if there is any error for the name it will just show after the name input field if there is any error in the case of email it will be shown after the input email field so like that so in that case what i will do i will just use the error blade directive there is a blade directive here that is error so here for example there is an error happens in the case of name what i will do i will just here write error like this now here i will tell here that the error has happened in the name field so i give here as a parameter that is name now here i will use a billet syntax like this to show message this one so what actually it will do it will check if there is any error and the error if there is any error in this field that has the name then it will show this message means the error message will be shown here i am now going here refresh okay if i now press on submit you see that the name field is required right i did not give any br so it is showing after that if i give here a br then it will be shown under the text box right if you want you can style this message for example i can give here a div and i can give here a style here that is a style equal to red or here i can call a class that is error and here i can call color is red so here i can call the class name that is error like this now if i click on submit sorry this is not a style this is class okay now i am going here refresh submit you see that the error message is showing in red text if you want when there will be an error you can also make the border of this input field red how i will do that here you see that there is a type name value right so here i can call a class here that is like this this class will have a special attribute and it will be only shown when there will be an error in title so here i call error and into here i tell that if there is any error in this case in name then there will be an n error so here i can call a class inside that is for example input or error one for example this is error class and this is error on class and what will be in the error on in the error on i will just make the border color red so border color red now let's check if it is working i am going to refresh it submit you see that the border color has been changed to red so it is working or here i can uh, change the total style of error on that is better that is border is on pixel solid red now if i give on submit see that the full border is now red and it looks better so refresh the border is normal when you give anything then still border is okay but if you give any error submit the border is red and also the error message is red so in this way you can easily handle the error message for the particular input field so the same thing you will do here you will do here you will do here in the text area in all the cases i am going to show the same thing in another case that is error for example in this class i am going to copy this on and in the email i call this class name here and this will be email not name 
and here this one I am going to copy and paste it here this will be email right and the message is okay in all cases it will be message no problem now go here refresh submit you see that when there is a name error it is showing the name field is it record there when there is email error it is showing the email field is record for the case of text area you can do the same thing so I am going to the text area and here after bottom here I am going to paste it and here also I am going to call the br br here okay so here the message error uh, it will be actually message here error and inside there will be a class that is this one I'm going to copy it and I am going to paste it here so here it will be message it will be messes now if i click on submit you see that everything is working refresh everything is working so in this way you can show the error message under each input box